good punch himself, what we call a sucker punch. Round one, Marcus Geraldo, middleweight clash for Thomas, Hitman Hearns in white, Geraldo in blue. You know, Ken, we have a small ring here, and Tommy Hearns is so tall, it looks like he could almost reach across the ring from his corner and jab Geraldo while he's sitting down. Well, I've been in with both fighters. I've defeated both fighters. I know their weaknesses. Geraldo doesn't come out that fast in the earlier rounds. I think this is when Tommy Hearns has a great uh, advantage as far as getting his man out of the range soon. How about to the body? Caveman Lee took out Geraldo with some body shots. But Geraldo's a durable fighter. In fact, I think he just happened to catch Geraldo. Here, both fighters, they're going for the big ones. They want to win. In fact, I think Tommy Hearns is motivated because he wants to fight me again. He certainly does. Do you want to let him? I will let Tommy as soon as he admits that there was no way he could have continued a 14th round. He's yet to admit that, kid. Well, Emmanuel Stewart has. He acceded to that. Well, Tommy has a lot of pride. In fact, I, uh, I sense that Tommy will win, although the longer the fight goes, the toughest it's going to be for Tommy because Geraldo, again, is a very tough and durable uh, big guy. Good left hand thrown by Thomas Hearns, and he hooks to the head of Marcus Geraldo of Mexico. You know, when, when Duran moved up in weight class, he, lo he lost a lot of his punching power. He found when he hit the bigger, heavier guys that they didn't go to where the light was. I don't know if Tommy himself up in the corner directly above us Hearns corner at eight he's trying to get to his feet he's up he's down again it is a knockout in round number one the hitman hit it well kid Tommy definitely needed a knockout especially after I defeated him the fact that it's going to help him out psychologically speaking well we see Tommy setting him up there he throws a right hand to the body trying to set up that left hook on the chin but now Geraldo's moving around he's got his shoulder trying to protect his chin that punch was a partial punch